Hello, it's me again, Oli5989. I'll show you how to survive one of the most dangerous forests by, um, yeah, using the tactics of the great legend Bear Grylls. I have recently got a victory royale in Fortnite in squad, so please congratulate me on that. Many, anyway, many people get lost and badly injured by stuff like deer and all that kind of stuff. So today I'll be showing you. Uh, so that's why I'll be showing you Ollie Five Nine Eight Nine vs Wild. This is how you survive. Hello guys, today I'm at the forest and I'm about to pull out on the destination here. This is one of the most dangerous forests in the world. Many people, well I've said that already, but yeah, they get lost and badly injured and all that stuff. So I'm about to jump, um, I got this cool thing, it's kind of like a camera, but it's also a parachute. So yeah, let's hope I survive this and I'll just show you how to survive. Let's do this! I don't see anything yet. Oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. Make stand here. Oh, oh, I have made it. I'm just gonna take. I made it to the forest. I'm just gonna have a take a look at my surroundings around here. Always take a look at your surroundings in the wild. All right. I don't know if you could see it, but just among those there is a squirrel, one of the most dangerous animals in the forest. They can be, if they bite you, they're very poisonous. This is how you deal with one. Show you how to deal with one. Come, come. Come, come. So, just in that long grass here, another predator in this grass. Well, it's right there, I'll tell you later. Hey, 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 run up the tree. Run, run. Oh, got away. You can never know which squirrels, are they prey or predators? Anyway. Another predator in here is called grass slice. So that's why I'm wearing these uh, long pants here because if you're wearing short ones, they could bite you and then you could get diseases. These, this is very, very big. So I guess it's up here somewhere. So it's up there, it's at the very top. I can just see it. As you can see, right. a squirrel's about to poke its head out. Well, there. Catch that one. Well, I'm not going to catch it anyway. I was just going to show you how to deal with it. So, yeah, just keep moving. Yeah, so, let me just tell you the story about this tourist who went in in 2013 trying with the camera and he was not prepared at all and he came into this forest not knowing that this was one of the most dangerous forests in the world. So, what happened was he tried to get an amazing picture of the sky view because like yeah he he just wanted a great picture that will win it and you know what happened as soon as he turned around he saw deer now that deer that one deer hit him with his horns he whacked him hit his head it was sliced open he was slowly dying but then a helicopter found him took him to the hospital and he ended up surviving and right now he is about, I don't know, it's quite old now, but like, this is serious. Okay, so this is a serious forest about serious animals and all that. When the deer they won't want you in their territory, so you've got to be careful. That's why I'm telling you this. Look, we are getting closer. This is a deer caught on sight. So I guess we should get going. Guys, I can actually see some deer just over there. Now, I'm going to see how close I can get to them. Now, um, so I hope you see those deer over there. So, yeah, those are very dangerous deer. But they are quite cute. So, how you survive them, this is what I've been wanting to show you all this time, okay? This is how you survive them. So those deer, if you're one on one with one, which I kinda am, I'm one on one with about five, six maybe, even seven. Anyway, so when you see one, what you wanna do is turn in the other direction and sprint. Anyway, this is the perfect view of those deer there, right there. So if you... Oh, if so. 
Let's see how close I can get. One thing you've got to be afraid of from Tyr, if you get any closer than this, they might come charging at you. So, when they do come charging at you, even though that happens, you should not run in the other direction because they can easily catch up with you. You've got to be like this. You've got to stay still and put your arms out like this to make sure you're bigger than them. And then you've got to be like, roar! And that's how you do it. I saw it on TV last night. The show was, uh, well, what was it? It was something that started with C. It was on like the natural, the, nat the natural geographic show. That's the one, yeah. And uh, it does not start with C, by the way. And yeah, he, a buffalo was charging at him. All right, it's no, I know it's not a buffalo, but it's like a T, same thing, right? Uh, and then he went like, roar, and then he, and then it stopped, and then that's when you run. Exactly right. And that is how you do it. So yeah, I think we're gonna start heading back now. And yeah, that was one journey, and that's how you survive. One more thing I gotta show you though. When you're low on food, grab some grass, peel it off to make sure it's safe, and maybe just try it. Now Okay, I think it's safe. So. That is crunchy right there. Crunchy stuff. Maybe a deer weed on it. <laughs> That's how you survive. That is great for you, by the way. It's protein, it's like salad. Anyway. That is what you gotta do, and if you're completely lost again, just run in one direction, look for someone, and get directions. Easy, we'll just use Google Maps and all that. Yeah, that's what uh, a tourist did once, and then he found his way back. Always bring a phone, by the way. Yep, so it's the end of this video. 45989 VS Wild. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I taught you something. Now, like I said, run away from deer.